Friday's derailment in Crash and Bridgeport has brought Metro North train service to a halt on part of the New Haven line. Commuters returning home from work are being loaded onto buses to be shuttled to the Bridgeport train station. News 8's Nika Nuosu is live from Bridgeport tonight with more on what folks who ride the rails are dealing with this evening. Nika. Well, Keith Ann, we just got some breaking news from the MTA. They hope to have Metro North service completely up and running by Wednesday. That means commuters will still have to take a combination of the bus and rails tomorrow. But again, they are hoping to have full service by Wednesday. All of this after that train derailment and crash on Friday. Some 2,000 feet of track were affected, but since then, crews have been out here. We've been seeing them all afternoon working hard to get service back up and running soon because commuters say, it's been a difficult day. They've been spending hours on the bus, walking or taking trains or getting a ride from someone. Let's take a listen. How long did it take you to get from Grand Central to Bridgeport? Uh, it's taken four hours. I left at 12.30. Yeah, so it's been a long day. Now back live here. This is one of the busiest commuter rail lines in the country. Amtrak also affected by this train derailment. They have suspended sur su suspended service from New York to Boston. We don't know how long that will be, but they say that this train derailment and crash has already impacted them. They say they've lost $3 million and will lose a million dollars every day that train service is shut down. But we expect to hear from Amtrak soon now that the MTA has announced that they hope to get Metro North service up and running by Wednesday. Live in Bridgeport, Neka Nuosu, News 8.